So I got this Beetle. It's a 2004, 2003, whatever it is. After 2001, they all look the same. It's a 2001 new Beetle. Um, it's pretty good. It's my daily. It's thick. It's got 192,000 miles on it. It's turbo. It spools. It's fun. You know, it's my daily while I save some money for my next car. But um, nobody takes me seriously in this thing. And it's kind of embarrassing. And I gotta make this thing look a little more masculine, a little cooler, because it's really embarrassing to drive around. Nobody takes me seriously. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna challenge myself. I got one day. I have one day to make this thing look cool. First stop, Walmart. That's the first stop. All right, so sitting here eating my McChicken, I gave it a little more thought. And I'm gonna make it a little harder for me and give myself a budget of $100. So I have one day and a hundred dollars to make this thing look a little cooler. Um, I do have wheels already, which yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of the stuff. I'm gonna try to reuse a lot of stuff that I had for my old Volkswagens. I have a lot of stuff laying around. So yeah, I'm not spending, the stuff I have is worth more than a hundred dollars. Um, like my wheels are way, way more than a hundred dollars. Um, but a hundred dollars is how much I can spend right now. And basically, I already spent 70, I think 70. Basically, I already spent 70 of that $100 on adapters for my wheels because the wheels I have aren't the same lug pattern for this Beetle. The wheels I have are 5x112, the Beetle's 5x100. So 70 bucks right off the bat, I don't, I already wasted. And no, I'm not using these stock um, Mark Six wheels. I'm not using those. They'll be cooler than Mark Six Detroit's, I, I promise. Um, yeah, enough rambling. Let me let me go to Walmart and spend some money. All right, I watched a video on how to do this on a budget. Definitely gonna need this. Should be all I need, and I am going with thirty-five percent. That's the legal limit in the state of Massachusetts. Grabbing some razor blades to scrape off some stickers that are on the, the window. All right, guys, here she is. It's the Beetle. It's pretty good, honestly. Not bad. That's a little bad. But we don't talk about that. Oh, this is the the turbo, I guess. The turbos have this. The spoiler actually goes up and down, which is pretty cool. The cool little turbo badge right here, because it's the 1.8T. But uh, overall, she's in pretty good condition. I do have the sunroof. Like I said, it is a manual. She just needs, she just needs a little bit of love to look cool. And uh, that's why I'm here. All right, so here's my haul so far. I've spent, I think, $98. I spent $70 on the adapters that are coming today. I'm gonna get delivered to my mailbox right there at some point. Um, I have my wheels coming right now. I'll explain that a little later. So my wheels are on the way. The adapters are on the way. I have the 35% tint right here. I got two rolls of it. The last two rolls, the 35%, because that's what's legal in Massachusetts. I got, I watched a budget tint video and the guy said these work really good. So I got some Bondo, uh, um, spreaders, I guess, Bondo cards. Cool. So these were good. I got stopped by my house, picked up some soap and water and, uh, yeah, we're going to tint this window, this window and the other two windows, depending on how good of a job I do. I'm not a professional. I will tint the back too, cause I hate the fishbowl look. Look at that. Look at this man. Hey. If you guys didn't know, Will bought my car. What is this? I'm just kidding. <laughs> so Will bought my car. All right. He's at the flex. He's at the flex. So Will bought my car about a month ago. Um, he did buy it on stock wheels, so you guys guessed it. 
these are going on the beetle um, i got the adapters coming pretty soon don't know how it's gonna look i hope it's not gonna poke out too much hey will guess what i'm doing right now what tinting the window in the beetle are you really yeah you actually got it yeah nice want to tell us about your experience uh i tried it on the blaster <laughs> and it was really hard <laughs> It doesn't look as hard as you think, but like once you actually do it, it's insanely hard. <laughs> well, guess I'll have to find out. All right, guys, tent job is done. I told him. I it's, told him. Honestly, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Tinting doesn't seem like it's that hard because like it just looks like you just slap it on, you just cut out the edge, and then you just squeegee it. But like once you start putting it on, especially with Walmart tint, it like starts to like make these little crazy creases and then these huge long air bubbles. It's annoying. This is literally impossible to do. Like, I don't know how you professionals do it. <sighs> Should I try again? I mean, like, you got a bunch of rolls. Round two. Going way smoother. We've uh, switched to indoor climate because doing this outside was kind of a joke. But good start. As you can see, the edge isn't very perfect, but I don't care. But very good start. We're being a lot more patient this time. Myself. And uh, doing good. All right, guys, try number two, not coming out very good. Um, probably gonna give up, but we're trying. Let's see how it goes. We almost had this one. Look how close we were. Let's pretend this isn't here. Oops. <laughs> tent one, Jeff, zero. Can't really be too mad because it's Walmart tent and it being my first time tenting. Um, kind of, kind of lame that i'll have a fishbowl look but who cares so basically this whole video went from uh budget build to just wheels but uh hey i tried you know uh so now just to wait until amazon i think fedex amazon amazon comes by so i can slap those wheels on so yeah now we wait all right so this video kind of turned out to be a failure it is like 7 30 8 o'clock and the adapters just came and uh, this video just ends up turning out to be slapping wheels onto my Beetle, basically. Um, my uh, stock ride height Beetle, which is kind of sad because this is freaking monster truck. It's freak. Look at this. All right, guys, here she is in the broad daylight. Let me know what you guys think. Popped open the spoiler for you guys. It fits pretty good. I got some nice poke. Not bad. So like I said, this video was kind of a failure because all I ended up doing was just putting wheels. Um, it's not how I planned this video to go out. As you know, the tent kind of failed. Um, but I'm thinking about lowering this thing. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, maybe just some coilovers. I thought about <laughs> I thought about cutting the springs, to be honest with you, because uh, this thing's got 192,000 miles on it. But I kind of want to daily it in the winter. But uh, let me know what you guys think definitely want to lower it maybe some race lands or something like that and yeah thanks for watching feel free to subscribe like this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one